You're not going to believe this. Get this. Okay. Uh, the, the person, we've been telling you about the IRS scandal, right, and how they've been targeting conservatives, Tea Party, stuff like that. Turns out the woman in charge of those, cracking down on the 501c3s uh, and 4s, Sarah Hall Ingram, the IRS official, she's no longer in the job of cracking down on conservatives. No, she's been in charge now of running the Obamacare office at the IRS. What possibly could go wrong there? Holy cow. You know, it, it's unbelievable, actually, because when this story started to break in the last few days, one of the concerns that would be a caveat, usually at the end of a segment when we were talking about it, is, and by the way, the IRS is going to be in charge of Obamacare. Remember that? So maybe that would make people feel a little uneasy. To think that the same woman who's accused of targeting these Tea Party and conservative groups and religious groups who spoke out against the government, to think that she is now going to be in charge of the same division of the same people who spoke out against Obamacare, she's going to have to go against about 50 percent of the country. Right, and I just feel bad for Joe Grant. Mm -hmm. Joe Grant takes her place at the, in Cleveland. He had the job for a week. And eight he got days. fired for, I'm sorry, I, I, I no, forgot but, about that eight day. Right. And he's been told to take a walk, Why do you feel part sorry of the cleaning for house. Because he's only had the job for a week, no, how could it be was, his fault? He, he was within the IRS before then. Sure. Right. So how but do you know he, that he wasn't also responsible? And we don't know yet how many but people. But why does he have to get right fired? Right. And maybe just fire the whole division then. He, he was in the, another The person part. above him gets a raise and a bonus. And yeah. he gets fired. Well, this is a little scary. Just think about the nexus of uh, IRS with health care and the fact that she... Keep in mind, one of the things from the IG report was uh, one of the problems with the IRS was they blamed ineffective management. Well, she was the management, and now she's running Obamacare at the IRS. Going forward, just imagine. Okay, so you go in, and uh, you're, you're trying to get a doctor's appointment, right? And they go... Well, we see from your uh, tax r records, how would that p possibly be possible? <laughs> we see from your tax records that you support the Tea Party or conservative groups. Do you want a doctor's visit? Three weeks. You want a hip replacement? Four years. We're not taking out that planner's ward. You and let I, Tea Partiers. I think, I think the, the, the big issue for, for me this morning, though, is that, is that she didn't come to that job on her own. I mean, somebody is directly putting her in that position after what she did to the conservative groups. And, you know, people knew about this. It's not like this IG report just came up within the last five days. So somebody in power said, hey, she did such a good job potentially targeting these groups that now we're going to put her in charge of Obamacare. That, to me, is what's the most startling. Well, somebody didn't know about the...